Because, you know, we're local, like we're yeah. usually closer. I've, done, I've actually done that before. If I know a client's coming from San Diego, which 100% is going to be an hour, no matter what way you look at I, it. Yeah. I had a guy, he was coming from Vista and we were meeting in Par Paris. Yeah. So 100% I knew it was going to take him an hour. At, at minimum. least. And he texts me 30 minutes before and he goes, oh, I didn't realize it was going to take me an hour to get there. I haven't left yet. I'm leaving now. Yeah. But at so least I was a half was an hour nice. late. At least he was nice enough to tell you that instead of when the appointment time came and goes and you're calling him like, hey, where are you? Oh, I'm still 30 minutes away because I left 30 minutes later, whatever, you yeah. know, which is usually the case. Like That's you find true. out when the time has already come for them to arrive. So very true. realtors, this is what we have to do. We have to band together and be really, really serious about our times. Like we have, we cannot keep screwing each other over by being late and like backing up appointments and ourselves and like, you know, just the stress that comes with, I, oh, my babysitter's coming at this time. Like I'll be gone two hours. Just kidding. I'm gone four, you know? Yeah, so stuff true. happens all the time. But, you know, I just think saying things like, I will not leave my house until you tell me you left. So if you so don't tell clients, me, so please, yeah, if you're yeah. listening to this, like just respect it because it's just like any job. I mean, you can't show up late at the doctors. They won't, most of them they won't take you or like you can't just show up late to your, your car appointment and then you're going to just be waiting behind other, other people.